Members, the Housing Committee is resumed. When we suspended before lunch, we were considering new part three of the Housing Legislation Amendment Bill as proposed by an amendment by Phil Twyford. Chris Hipkins uh, had the call and has four minutes, 33 seconds remaining. Uh, Chris Hipkins. Mr Chairman, thank you very much. And I it was barely getting started when I was so impertinently interrupted by the, uh, by the late lunchtime break. And I want to commend and congratulate my colleague Phil Twyford for the excellent amendment that he has put forward that provides a concrete solution to some of the housing, to some of the housing challenges that New Zealand faces. The amendment that Phil Twyford has put forward is the first part in what will be a comprehensive plan by the Labour Party to deal with the housing crisis in a way that the government have failed to do. And we thank them for at least giving us this blank canvas, this opportunity, this opportunity uh, to, to deal with the, with the crisis that they have created and don't have any solutions to fix. So moving to this particular amendment that my colleague Phil Twyford has put forward that requires the, ministry, the Minister of Housing with the Housing Corporation to develop a, a plan for the delivery of 10,000 affordable houses per, per, per year for first home buyers. And I want to speak first of all to a minor amendment that I have added to that, uh, which would insert the word new after 10,000. And that's very important because we have several thousand houses already, state houses already. And what I would be concerned about is if the government used this to basically justify the hocking off of the existing state housing stock and say that they were increasing the supply of affordable houses by selling off state houses. By adding the word new into this, we're making it very clear that this isn't about tinkering around the edges or reshuffling the cards as the government only seem able to do. It's actually about dealing with the fundamental issue, which is that there aren't enough affordable houses and we need more of them. And my colleague Megan Woods will shortly be speaking to another amendment which adds a particular time frame that is required for this to happen. And because I think that uh, that is, that is a, a very important clarification to this also. I want to move further forward and look at the uh, 50U uh, provisions, 50U, which is the, the clauses that deal with what this affordable housing development should include. So in implementing the affordable housing development, the, the corporation must ensure that the houses completed are affordable. That's really important, because if we reference back to the debate we had earlier about the special housing areas, we learned during that debate that only 10% of 75% of them are actually going to be affordable houses. So that's around 5,000 affordable houses out of the total of houses that are being developed. It simply isn't enough. Let's be clear, the 10,000 that this proposal suggests also isn't enough. But it's a start and it's a heck of a lot better than the government have been proposing or willing to do anything about. We have, uh, uh, in between censuses, between the last two census, between the last census in 2006 and the one in 2013, the population of Auckland alone grew by 110,000. And the government are saying that they think 5,000 affordable houses is enough. It simply isn't. There is an entire generation of Aucklanders in particular, but New Zealanders as a whole, that are being shut out of the housing market because of, short because of a shortage of housing supply. I listened to the mayoral debate on uh, Radio New Zealand this morning as I was driving to work, Mr Chair. Mr Chair. Mr Chair. Mr Chair. Sorry, you have one more minute. I did have one more minute, yes. Thank you, Mr Chair. I listened to the, the debate on the radio Just this morning. Just checking. I listened to the debate on the radio this morning, and the, even Vic Crone, uh, the National Party supported candidate for the mayoralty of Auckland, was saying that it's a crisis and that there aren't enough affordable houses. And yet the national government aren't willing to step in and actually finally do something about it. This proposal, put forward by my colleague Phil Twyford, a concrete proposal to do something about the housing crisis, to do something about the housing crisis is an opportunity and I hope the government will embrace it because they have basically been saying that the opposition's all talk and we haven't got any real plans. Well, here they are and there's a lot more of them to come right. and I look forward to their support because if they're actually serious about dealing with housing affordability, they will support this amendment. They will make the commitment to build 10,000 affordable homes 
every year because that is uh, the minimum that we're going to need if we're going to provide the entire generation who have been locked out of the housing market the chance to get on the housing ladder. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. I'm going to call uh, Alfred Naro. Thank you.